Welcome to the vidcast of the OWL at Purdue, where we deepen our knowledge of rhetoric, logic, invention, and communication. Whether you want to know more about the ancient history of rhetoric, or just get some advice on how to choose the best medium for your message, the OWL vidcasts are here to guide you. At the start of a writing assignment, do you ever feel like this? How am I ever going to figure this out? This vidcast offers advice and practices to help you invent ideas and create plans for your writing projects. We all, at some point in our educational or professional careers, face writing blocks or difficulty developing unique and organized work. The creative and engaging suggestions within this vidcast help us overcome writing stress and anxiety so that we can push past stumbling blocks and gain confidence in our approaches to thinking and writing. Enjoy the vidcast! When you're asked to create something out of the blue for a writing project, it can be a daunting task. However, there are a variety of techniques a writer can use to help her begin the process of creating or inventing ideas and material for her writing. First off, what is invention and what does it have to do with writing? Well, invention is what happens before we begin writing. We decide what we want to write based on the requirements of the rhetorical situation and then we try to create or invent ideas that will become part of our writing. Mm, that seems to work. When I get an assignment, I try to think about what I can write that fulfills that assignment. For example, if a teacher says he wants an essay about a current issue, I find an issue such as teaching evolution in schools, and then I follow what the assignment asks of me. That seems easy enough, but what if I can't think of anything and just sit there staring blankly at the computer screen? Sure, we've all felt that sense of frustration at being unable to come up with interesting ideas for an assignment but there are a number of resources and practices at your fingertips, some of which you may be unaware of, that you can rely on to help you get over the hump when creating material for a project. But what if I'm not that creative of a person? I'm pretty boring, actually. Oh, don't be too hard on yourself. All writers face similar creative challenges. It's important to remember to keep an open mind and realize that the process of invention isn't going to happen all at once. It's not going to be a eureka moment every time. Exactly. Invention is an ongoing process. It starts with questions, ideas that work, ideas that don't work, and more questions. Okay, that helps, but how do I know what questions to ask? Well, there are a number of activities you can do to help you create or invent such questions. Well, what exactly are those types of activities? Uh, to begin with, you can ask the who, what, when, where, and why questions. So what you're saying is ask questions like, who is this writing for? What is this writing about? What time period will the writing relate to, or when will it appear? Where will I submit it? Or even as simple as, why am I writing this in the first place? Yes, and for each question, you could begin jotting down any and all answers that come to mind. This is a process referred to as brainstorming. In addition to taking notes and brainstorming, you could also begin constructing an outline to help you organize your thoughts. Ultimately, your goal in beginning the invention process is to have a broad scope and then narrow it as your interest in a topic becomes more clear. Both of those suggestions are great ideas. And another very useful method for your invention is to reflect on your own life experiences and try to generate material or ideas from them. Sometimes people think that method, using stuff from your own life, is too obvious, but it's actually really helpful. Writers are experts when it comes to their own life experiences, and they should use them as much as possible. Well, that's pretty good advice. So it seems like if I spend a lot of time at the beginning of a writing project trying to think of interesting things to say, then I'll be okay. Well, that's true, but remember that invention is an ongoing process. Don't stop thinking after you've begun writing. Be open to making changes and adjustments as you write if something doesn't work like you expected. Great point. And remember that there is no one perfect way to do invention activities for writing. The most important skill may be to begin to learn how to ask questions about what the writing is designed to be doing as well as how it will accomplish its goal.